Hi, I'm Underbelly, and you suck at producing. People, who needs them? They're slimy, gross, and annoying. Thankfully, within the next 20 years, our slave boxes will begin to surpass us in every task imaginable, including making beats. To help speed up this inevitable process, today we're going to learn how to use automation inside of Ableton to do the things we're too incompetent and lazy to do. Let's get started. Okay, so check it. For the past number of lessons, we've been working with the session view to have a great visualization of all the different types of aids we have. However, for automation purposes, we're going to be working inside arrangement view, which you can get to by clicking the circle with the horizontal lines in it. Click, wowzers, and all of a sudden we have a whole different visualization of what's going on in our song and this is more geared to uh you know arranging when different parts of the song come in and out over along the timeline so the first thing that happens in the song is obviously aids and it's going to sound a little bit like this wow okay all right and we're about to hear some other elements come in get ready here we go Swag, swag, swag. Okay, so that's pretty swag, dude, but here's the thing. Uh, it's just kind of a lot of piss and aids right at the beginning. What if we could just ease in on the piss, not have it happen all at once? And the way we best do that is by using an auto filter to control the amount of piss coming in. So let's go ahead and double click on that. Okay, and so we have it on our piss synth, and my idea was that we would just have the filter slowly sweep up so we just gradually let in the amount of piss we want. So let's go ahead and hear that, how that sounds. Let's go ahead and start around 200 hertz and slowly sweep up as the song goes on. Okay, let's do it. Okay, oh, here it comes. Oh, here it comes. Slowly let in the piss. Oh. Oh wow, okay. All right, now that's exactly the effect I'm going for, but here's the thing, every time I want that to happen, we have to do it manually using our hands. I mean, too incompetent for that. Thankfully, we have Ableton and she's willing to automate these things for us. Notice how whenever I was modulating that frequency when it was sweeping up and down, this little pink transparent lineup here was also going up and down as well with my frequency knob. This pink line uh, signifies where the frequency parameter is at at any given time and this box right here shows us the audio effect we're working with and also the parameter within that audio effect this pink line is tied to. Notice, however, whenever when we highlight over the pink line, it turns solid. And when we click, we create a little automation point right here. That's where the automation is going to start at 683 hertz with the frequency. And we want the frequency to slowly go up as the song goes on. So all we have to do is create another automation point, let's say over here, click, and then just drag that up. Now all of a sudden we have this smooth pink ascension of our frequency knob letting the piss in. So let's hear how that sounds. Oh, okay. Wowzers. Uh-huh. Slowly let in the piss. Wow, oh, okay, here it comes. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Oh, ooh. and then let's have it go super fast down, super fast down. Whoa, now it's gone. Now it's pretty anticlimactic. But here's the thing we managed to automate uh, w what we were doing manually with Ableton, using automation, wowzers, give yourself a tap on the wrist, you're amazing. Here's the thing, if we uh, started playing with this frequency knob again, you'll notice all of a sudden that this pink 
dot right here, which signifies that the parameter was being autom automated, grays out. And that's because we're straying, we're deviating away from what Ableton thought the frequency knob was supposed to be at. And it's sad because of that. It's not happy that we're not following its automated guidelines. What we can do to go back to our regular automation is just by clicking this orange uh, back button over here on top. And all of a sudden, we're back to where we want. Click the orange, and now it's back. Oh, wowzers. So remember, pink means something is being automated. When it's grayed out, that means we're straying from the automation. And if we want to go back to it, all we have to do is click this orange back button over here on top. Wowzers, give yourself a tap on the wrist. You guys made it. Okay, so check it. There's an unlimited number of uses for automation inside of Ableton. So if you have any ideas, please post them in the comment section below. I'm Underbelly, signing off. <laughs>